everybody, this is Marjorie. <laughs> Look at me today. I'm like something for the for the, the safari. Isn't it lovely? My pal Maury, you know my pal Maureen that I talk about for large? She'll like this. She likes a bit of animal print. Hello Maureen, if you're listening. She'll, she'll not be listening. She'll not be watching this when it comes out. So it takes, takes her days to catch up with my episodes because, well, she's retired now. You know, my pal Leslie that I used to work with, well, she's retired as well. And and Margaret and Josephine. Josephine's not retired. Josephine's still a, still very much in her prime. Actually, I'll need to give Josephine a wee phone. She was going to be in the, the tug of war, the Scottish tug of war competition. Oh, she's oh she's great. She does it on her own, you know. There's 10 on the other team and they're just hard work. She's awfully strong. Oh, she's awfully strong, Josephine. Didn't mess with Josephine, a very strong woman. Anyway, I'll, I'll not say any more about Josephine because she, she'll get all embarrassed because she's getting her name said on the, on the YouTube. <laughs> she'll, be, she'll be wearing specs, walking down her guy street in case she gets recognised. don't know how you get recognised actually when she's not actually been on it, it's just, just her name. But anyway, moving swiftly on, she in, link down below, nice and tip. Anyway, I was sitting mind my own business, right? I was out in my bench out the front because it was one of the really sunny days and it was, I it was about 18 degrees it was nice i say 18 degrees it was probably made of like 13 14 but it felt like 18 because i thought oh this is lovely this is like being on the holiday in the spain or the italy or the or the the rome oh no rome's in italy <laughs> anyway so i'm sitting out at my bench mind the main business out comes out comes neville for next door and I says oh what are you what are you doing neville says oh i just come out to read my book marjorie Connie's away, Connie's away, and I'm reading my book. I says, oh, what book have you got, Neville? What did he tell me he was reading? Oh, it was, a, it was an old book. It was an old classic. The Cranberry Tales. Geoffrey Saucer. Was that it's an old book? It's an old leather book. He says, well, I, I picked it up in an antique shop, Marjorie. They had a book section, and I, and I picked it up and up and reading it. I went, oh, that's lovely. Don't know how many tales you can have about cranberries, but, you know, he seemed happy enough, so... I says, where's Connie the day, Neville? He says, oh, she's away to, away to the fabric shop. Away, he's, she's away to Felicity's Fabrics. Don't know what accent that was. Anyway, carry on. I says, Felicity's Fabrics. Oh, see her? She is one snooty cow of a woman. I don't like her. Now, she's the manager, right? Felicity, the manager. All I'll say is, manager? She couldn't manage her way out a wet paper poke, you know. But you get them, don't you? Anyway... Oh, she's got a face. She's one of these folk that just, she sneers. I mean, I don't know if she means to, but she just sneers at you. She looks as if she's something special. Oh, I, I ran out of breath there. <laughs> Try and get to the end of that line. <laughs> anyway, so uh, she's got a face on her like Pretzel Patel. She heard for the telly. You know, well, she's not for the telly. She's not a soap star. You know her in the government that sits, sits, sits next to Boris? Oh, I I'm no fussy on her. No, 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 no. There's something about her. Now, remember, she was she was getting all the all the the, the, the slack for for being bossy. I says I believe that she's got a bossy face. Hmm. Anyway, now I heard that Felicity's Fabrics was in a wee bit of financial boiler. I heard that the woman was going bankrupt. I heard the liquidizers were coming in to sort it all out. So anyway, I says, what's she at the fabric shop for, Neville? He says, oh, she's making her own outfit for, what, I mean, now he's Welsh. Anyway, well, turns out Connie's making her own outfit for Fanny and Felix's wedding. I mean, she's making her own outfit. Oh, no. I mean, I've got my, I've got my lovely outfit pr provided by Sheehan. Oh, wait, do you see it? You'll need to wait a wee while, obviously, for the wedding, because the wedding's not until June. Is it late May, June? I've got it written in my diary. I can't even remember. I'm the matron of honour. I'm making all the plans. That's not a good sign that I can't even remember the day when I'm making all the plans. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll maybe talk about that another day. Anyway, so just as we're talking, Connie arrives home and right, and she's got, she's carrying this big roll in like gold satin, and I'm looking at her going, "Is that is that for your outfit for the wedding, Connie?" She says, "Aye." I says, "Oh, what you gone is C three P O box for Star Wars. I mean, gold gold material. Who has gold material to make a frock?" I says, "Oh, maybe she's going to Cleopatra." That'd be nice, wouldn't it, in the ancient Egypt? Maybe maybe Neville's gone as a as a pyramid. Well, that'd be lovely. Did you do get chocolate? What was it? Remember you got the chocolate pyramids? Remember it was mint and the shape of a pyramid? Mmm. Am I making that up? I'm sure there was a pyramid, a, a sweetie called pyramid chocolate. Oh, it was lovely. Anyway, so I'm thinking she's either gone as Cleopatra or maybe maybe Henry Kelly. 
Remember Henry Kelly for going for gold? Going for gold! <laughs> Obviously gold, because it'd be stupid if they were going for silver and going for gold. Anyway, so she takes she takes the roll of fabric in, and I'm like, oh, the plot thickens what this outfit's going to be like. I mean, I've got visions there turning up like a, like a Buddha. Anyway, Neville goes away into the house. Connie comes back out, and she said, oh, Marjorie, I'm glad I've got you in your own. I, was, I, I wanted to talk to you. Can I tell you something personal? I went... Oh my god, I wish I wish you wouldn't, but if you if you must, Connie, you know, I hate it when somebody says can I tell you something personal because you know I mean I'm a people person, I get out there, I say hello, hello, hello. Uh, you know, how do you do to all the people? But I get I get embarrassed, you know, because I'm quite a simple wee soul. I get embarrassed when folk tell me personal stuff. <laughs> do you believe that? I didn't. I was trying to be quite convincing, I thought I was quite convincing. Anyway, she says to me, now don't say anything, but she says, as you know, you know, I've got quite a, a high. <laughs> I says, oh, I can, I can hear you. you. You're like a couple of rabbits. I says, say no. I've no hair just for a wee while. Now, I'll tell you before. I mean, they're at, they're at it all the time. You can hear them through the wall. I'm, tr I'm reading them. You know, I'm reading my book in my bed. And it's like, <coughs> I'm like, honest to God and govern with a camel and a straw hat. So... Connie's got a very high libretto, right? So she's always quite charged. Um, I mean, I was once standing behind her and Neville in the butcher shop, you know, and Neville, Neville's looking at the meat and he starts rubbing his thighs and Connie's eyeing up the beef olives. I mean, they two are like, honest to God, they're, 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 they're like rabbits in heat on a, on a donkey. So she says, well, the problem is, we went through a wee period and, and Neville, you know, Neville can of keep it up. I says, oh, this is going to keep up. <laughs> I says, I don't know where this story's going, but she says, no, I can't keep up. So she says, I found out on the internet, I was on this blog, and you can get Viagra in powder format. And she says, it said in the instructions, slip some Viagra powder into the tea. They don't know their technique because they'd be too embarrassed, wouldn't they? Never would be dead embarrassed. And she says, here, here's a Viagra tablet. Take it because it will help you. So she says, I put it in this tea. And she says, sure enough, does the job a treat. He was back in action. And she says, and, and not only that, the bonus is, see when you dump your biscuit into your tea, it never goes soft. <laughs>